behind me, I have the brand new 2023 BMW M340i and it's the Life Cycle Impulse. I'm gonna hop behind the camera and show you guys everything new about the new 3 Series, and everything that I've noticed from changes from last year. Let's get into it. So this M340 is finished off in Dravite Gray. Now the first thing that speaks out to me is of course the kidney grills. That is a massive change. Well, not really massive. I mean, they stayed the exact same size. They just spaced out the honeycomb pattern. It's just a wider design that's in there. This one does have the high gloss black exterior content. Mind a little bit of the dirtiness of the car. The car just landed, got PDI'd and hasn't been cleaned up for delivery yet. Uh, honeycomb mesh at the bottom is also wider. We do have actual real cooling vents that are going in for additional oil coolers and vents on the side. Those are all real, no fake vents on this car. And then we have active air flaps at the bottom now, as well as the active air flaps inside the kidney grill. Then we have the redesigned uh, LED headlights, no longer having laser light headlights on the M340i where you just have the either adaptive LED headlights or the full adaptive LED headlights. So front bumper facial is different. Kidney grill interiors are different. And then the headlights have been redesigned. On the side, the first thing that you'll notice are these mirror caps. We now have the M mirror caps. A lot of other models have seen that. Last year, the X3 M40i, the X4 M40i, the M240 all got those. And now it's carried over onto the M340i. Now, another thing that's different is the wheels. Now, while this isn't truly a different wheel option, like this is still the 792 wheels, these are in a black bicolor instead of having a cerium gray. So BMW is no longer offering cerium gray on their M light models. Now we have these black two-tone wheels. Now I do, I used to love the style 792 wheels. Now, eh, not so much with the black. I love them in the cerium gray, but all that cerium gray is gone. Now, even without high gloss black exterior content, you just have like an aluminum colored grill and you get chrome badges on the side instead of them being cerium gray. And then when you come around to the back, we still have the same spoiler, same taillights at the back, but we have chrome badging. So instead of cerium gray badging, we have chrome badging. Last year, even if you had got the high gloss black kidney grill, you still would have had these cerium gray badges. Before I actually get to the back, we also have a change in the antenna. The antenna changed as well. It's no longer that shark fin, more of that flathead design. At the back, big change in the rear diffuser. So massive change in the way the rear diffuser was before. It was like a gray trim piece that came along and now it's just like massive. We have a massive fin there, smaller and smaller one, big gap in the center. Definitely an interesting diffuser that the car is getting. And I wonder what the M performance like rear carbon diffuser will be, because it looks like this is still one piece. So that whole piece will have to be changed out in order to get the carbon fiber rear diffuser on there. Now on the inside, that's where it gets even more interesting. We got Decor Red, Santa Tech at the back. Nothing's changed in the back seats compared to last year. All the change comes up at the front of the vehicle. We have the curved display screen that I drive eight. It's got this nice welcoming screen display that goes on. M logo comes up, it's shimming across there. That is pretty nice. I'll top inside here and take a look. So we have this big curved display screen. Let's get that plastic off. Ah. It, it does look very nice. I do, I do like the look of the curved display screen. Like look at how sharp that M logo looks. Maybe it's sharper with my eyes. Welcome to guest profile. We got head up display on this unit. And then as you come down, we're missing buttons here. My favorite button was the max AC button. You used to be able to just come in, Press a button, the AC turns on. Let me show you what happens now. Start the car. You want some AC. Oh, there's no AC. You gotta hit climate menu, and then you gotta go up and you gotta hit max. So now you gotta touch the screen or go through the iDrive controller just to get into the max AC, which I don't really like. That's like cumbersome. You're doing more things. At least the sport comfort equal mode have to stay the same and you don't have the my modes button like in some other cars. We no longer have the normal transmission controller. We just have a toggle. There's a little light on it. Reverse, neutral, drive, and then sport. So that's interesting to see. And then if you want park, you press park there. Now, personally, I don't like this. 
I, uh, no, I can't say that I shifted very much with it, but something about, I just always rested my hand on the shifter. I always played around with it. It was always fun. I don't know. Maybe I'll get used to it. Maybe not. Uh, camera button for a 360 parking camera. That's nothing new there. Uh, let's see. Did iDrive 8 add anything to it? Let's see, car wash. Doesn't look like uh, iDrive 8 really changed too much on the parking. You have your display screen over here. You can hit this button and it does change the layout and content that you see. You can change the layout. You can change head-up display. Head-up display is now new projector head-up display. That has definitely changed. You can definitely see it's more enhanced. And then this one is like the vehicle revs. So as you'll see, I rev it up. You can see that. Hard to see, but yeah, the iDrive 8 is pretty cool. One thing I like about this car compared to the X7, we still have the heated steering wheel button right here. Love that. I love the fact that you don't have to go into here to get your heated steering wheel just like on the X7. So that's nice. So really the only thing missing is that max AC button. I guess the one through eights that used to be here as well are missing. And that's kind of sad because like there's literally like no short key replacement that I'm able to find. So, oh wait, what's that? Oh, there we have some unassigned shortcuts. Now we just have four of them. How do we assign them? Press down entries to add shortcut. Still don't understand. Oh, I get it. So just press and hold. So interior lighting, press and hold, add to shortcuts. It's assigned. But now to get to a shortcut, say we're a menu, we gotta click there. Is that the only spot we can click? Can we scroll, swipe down? So you swipe down and then you get your shortcut. So I guess there's still kind of is a shortcut, but that's not the same as just pressing once that's swiping down and then pressing that's two steps everything now is two steps interior lighting though i drive eight on the new lci we have more interior lighting codes that is good to see more colors we have emeralds we got more colors so that is nice to see the display screen is nice everything else is pretty much the same no wireless charging tray make sure when you're ordering up a car you get wireless charging tray that way your iphone can become your key fob everything else pretty much the exact same all right, that's everything you guys need to know. The last thing that I'm gonna show you guys is the engine bay. Even though it's the LCI, this is still on the second gen B58 engine. It does not have the third gen B58 engine. It still looks the exact same. There is no direct injection underneath here. It's all the exact same. It is not the same motor that's coming in on the 2023 X7, still second gen B58, not the third gen. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys appreciate this quick, in-depth look of the LCI M340i 3 Series. If you guys are in the marketplace, you want to order one of these up in Toronto, feel free to send me an email down below. Any BMW questions, drop them down below, and I'll be make sure I make some content on that stuff. Thank you guys so much. Please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.